Добрый вечер, дамы и господа. Мы продолжаем наше мистерию воли и смелости на телеканале М1 Global. И это финал гран-при весовой категории до 66 килограмм. Красный угол октагона вызывается боец клуба «Легион Гродно» Андрей Сколыш. So it's a final Grand Prix featherweight matchup between Vladislav Pozniak and Andrei Skolush. Боец спортивного клуба «Спартак Бобруйск» Владислав Пазняк! So, Pozniak и Скулуш Competition in this final Grand Prix featherweight matchup. Three five minute rounds coming to you from Minsk, Belarus. Hope you're enjoying it if you're watching it on Clash TV, Kubo Sports Network. В красном углу октагона серебряный призер Республики Беларусь по рукопашному бою. чемпионатов внутренних войск по самбо и армейскому рукопашному бою. Победитель международных турниров по тайскому боксу. Победитель профессионального турнира Roll to NFG 3. Клуб Легион Гродно. 19 лет. Андрей Сколыш. I beg your pardon, it is going to be Skolush in the red and Ozniak in the blue, so they flipped it on this, it's mixed in. Серебряный призер первенства Республики Беларусь по грэплингу. Победитель турнира NFG 10, победитель турнира Стрелка, победитель профессионального турнира Road to NFG 3, спортивный клуб Спартак Бобруйск, 20 лет, Владислав! Пазняк! So Pozniak and Skolush meet in the final Grand Prix featherweight matchup. Set for the first of three five-minute rounds. Внимательно слушаем мои команды. Правила не нарушаем. Покажите честный, красивый бой. Пожали руки. So Skolush in the red, Pozniak in the blue. Pozniak's got a bit more experience. We'll see how that plays out in the next 15 minutes. Or less. Pozniak in the center of the cage. Skolush utilizing his footwork already, trying to find an entrance, goes for the low outside leg kick, misses with the one, two. Skolush being very active on the outside. Pozniak very calm and relaxed, very centered. Skolush attacking with the kick to the lead leg. And then it was Ozniak catching the leg. 
driving Skolush back to the fence. Skolush turning the tables and they separate. Very fast action amongst these guys. A minute already gone here in the first round. Bosniak sensing, goes downstairs with a right hand as Skolush unloaded the offense. Skolush lands the body kick on Posniak. Posniak not really committing or looking confident in his striking. Well, he's just he's just staying back. I think. Well, he's, the way he threw the punches, I think though, he's left overly his face exposed. I think he's extremely confident here, and he's just kind of pinning, trying to pin down his opponent, Skolush. Skolush doing a lot of movement on the outside. Both missing, and it was oh. going with the kick in time by Pozniak, but then Skalush on the bottom, very active from the guard, and Pozniak passing guard to side control, but it's Skalush again achieving full guard. Skalush looks pretty wily on the bottom. He's done a good job moving between the positions and getting himself where he's safe. Skalush looking to control the posture of Pozniak. High guard. Bosniak unable to posture. Unable to maximize or improve his position past the midpoint of the opening round. And Skalush very active from his back and doing a lot more damage with his strikes. Yeah, Skalush is doing good work down here. And you see him once again creeping those knees up. Oh. <laughs> Back to the feet they go, where the referees would prefer they stay. Final two minutes of the opening round. Counter left hand lands for Skolouch. That front kick to the, to the knee, that's a dangerous kick. Yeah, that one hurts, especially when it lands flush because it, it pushes that whole knee capsule backwards. And it's a real oh, eye opener. Jumping. That was an eye opening uh, attempt at a strike there by Skolush looking to deliver something with a little zest. A minute and a half left in this first round. And it's very much Skolush taking the fight to Pozniak. He is. He's really pressing forward and, and using some unorthodox like that. So spinning backwards, using some unorthodox techniques to kind of slow down and, and stop up his opponent. But he's coming for it. And those jumping knees are no joke. And like, they take a lot of energy, and they're very high risk. And Skolush again looking to seize the takedown and does so. And Pozniak unable to defend the takedown, and we'll see how he works from his back. Under a minute left in the opening round. Wow, Skolush jumped right into that full mount position. Wow, beautifully done. And ground and pound. Skolush very aggressive here to finish the fight, here to win the final a featherweight here, Grand Prix matchup, and he is taking it to Pozniak. Pozniak doesn't seem to have an answer for this position at all. Bringing those legs up, that only works when your opponent you, is sitting up and you yeah, get and near you his, all, his armpits. And it's ground and pound central for Andrei Skolush. Pozniak desperately trying to wing block, trying to avoid the brunt of this barrage from Skolush. Skolush high, full mount, final 15 seconds of the opening round. It's all Andre Skolush. He's really controlling these final seconds too. And this is where you drop some real big bombs and you send your opponent to the corner with some extra lumps and something to think about. Osniak took his lumps in the first five minutes. Pozniak standing up, looking a little wobbly on his feet. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of energy expended in those last 30 seconds with the mount position, avoiding those big punches. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. Little DJ Rob Bates and DJ Easy Rock. <laughs> Do we have to, is, is that an extra rubbers. charge there, Moro, for the DJ? Saw the number two. I saw, I saw Alexa oh, trying hey, to get Hey, I could in have here. said something else when looking at the number two. Uh, very different postures. Look at these corners. 
Very different postures. Oh, yeah, Scalusha's chilling. Well, Posniak may be defiant in the sense that I'll stay on my feet to show that, you know. Yeah, I'll stay on my feet. stay on my feet, but he was taking off his feet. And, and actually, like I said, that opening round didn't look too comfortable in the stand-up, to me anyway. Yeah. In terms of how was uh, he, he responded to what Skaloosh is giving him. But there's a sign of sportsmanship, and they renew hostilities here. Second of three rounds in the final Grand Prix featherweight matchup here at Road to Victory, Road to NFG4 in Minsk, Belarus. You're watching live on Clash TV and the Fubo Sports Network. Now, Paul, see, Posniak in position gets countered upstairs yep. by Skalush. Was putting himself in good position by inching his way forward and being very strong with his posture. But then he kind of and, stays there after the combination. Well, so but he, he does appear to be a little more focused, a little more energetic in terms of the the positioning and his body language, Posniak. And so maybe he was collecting data in that opening round, for lack of a better term, as we've seen, of course, Floyd Mayweather do in his legendary career, but that's a different sport and different circumstances. And Skalush is definitely trying to make life miserable for Vladislav Posniak. Skalush inside for the takedown again. If he can dip those hips down, get that head up, and take his opponent airborne. Or sweep him down, miss oh, the hip. Defense, good takedown defense by Posniak. Now north-south position, immediately goes behind, looks to take the back, and Skalush rolls out of harm's way, but on belly, and it's now Posniak. Oh, it looks like Posniak may be wanting to allow Skalush to get back to his feet, which, oh, whoa, Carpenter. Wow, I like There's that. some dynam dynamic offense from Posniak. They both brought out some really crafty grappling techniques that yeah, I both. wouldn't think they would know. Probably watching a lot of Kazushi Sakuraba back in the day, the Gracie Hunter, only man to beat four members of the first family of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. My favorite was his atomic butt drop when he came through the uh, guard there. Oh, yeah, he would do stuff on uh, the cartwheel escape. Yeah. But the atomic butt drop was actually a term coined by Randy Couture in the Mark Hunt Vanderlei oh, yeah, Silva yeah. fight. I Think about that, that one. What, 60-pound <laughs> weight difference? Maybe a little more? If I was 60 pounds, I'd try to butt drop somewhere. Under three minutes left here in the second round, and it's Bosniak from top position now. Let's see if he can make Skalush pay. Well, he won't get a chance because the referees brought them back to their feet. Skalush was doing a lot of work earlier in the stand-up. Nice movement. Yeah. Nice counter wise. there. He's looking better on the stand-up here in round two. Galush with the body kick to land. Or excuse me, Bosniak is yeah. looking better. And he's coming back, I think, with more power and more precision. Comes more responsibility. Scal yeah, Scal I saw Skalush shaking off a shot there. I think uh, uh, Skalush has felt the power now, and I think and, his steam is gone. Well, I was going to say, he he maintained a pretty frenetic pace in that opening five minutes. And and there may, again, there's different strategies, different tactics. Posniak. Uh, didn't expend a lot of energy in the opening round, but really finding his groove here in round two and, and doing better in the stand -up. Doing a lot better, and he's, be he's very crisp when he does it, whereas Belouche, he's looking, he's looking defensive and, and kind of sitting back when those big punches come. Belouche continues to wind up. Try to throw everything with bad intentions while Posniak beginning to find a bit of a rhythm backing Skalush to the fence. Skalush says bring it on and Posniak content to just deliver single shots, pot shots with a jab. And Skalush now, he's trying to play the games. It's uh, Nate Quarry and um, Caleb Starnes all over. Well, I like how he's trying to, because I, I, I think he's secretly tired. So I think he's trying to turn the psychological right. tide And this here. is what I was talking to you about yep. before. Where totally. does that mental fortitude become a factor? Yeah, I think he's looking Looking for a way to win and get the advantage, and, it's, and right now it's psychological. Yeah, he, Look, he's he, he, his but head. this speaks to the fact he doesn't respect Posniak's power, that's for sure, and he'd better be careful. Remember Anderson Silva, yep. the legendary fighter, clowning with Chris Weidman, and how did that end for him? Well, everything works, but nothing works for long, and, and when you punch the brain, it gets damaged. Oh, Great high, high kick. kick. Skalush, but it lands 
on this back, and he's just chilling yeah, and I, relaxing. I, I almost feel like he accepted that, like, oh, no, that didn't go, I'm going to fall it's down. It's interesting because in the first round, we saw Bosniak doing a little more of the posturing and maybe laid back and not as fluid and a lot from Skalush. The, the, the roles have been reversed in round two in many ways. Yeah, and I think it comes down to conditioning, Mauro. I'm looking at... You know, two fighters, they're obviously expending hard, but one of them is burning out quicker than the other. In the final seconds of the round, which will give both fighters a short respite to go before going to the third and final round. So a great start for Skalush in round one. Hosniak took over in round number two. Third and final round in the final Grand Prix featherweight. Uh, on my unofficial scorecard, have it won a piece, so it'll come down to this third and final round to determine who will win. Between Andre Skolush in the red tape and Vladislav Pozniak in the blue. How do you have it after two? I agree with you more. One and one. I think, um, you know, I don't want to see this one go to the judges, so I'd like to see one of these young men, you know, just really go for it. And that's what they're doing there momentarily in that exchange, but Skolush appears to, again, be on the receiving end of Pozniak's attack, and Pozniak now beginning to show more efficiency and more effectiveness in his striking, becoming much more comfortable and finding his groove that we saw start in round number two. Yeah, he's finding his range. He's setting things up with that nice jab and that nice kind of lazy left hook, leading left hook. There's a sprawl. It's forcing his opponent to shoot. It's forcing his opponent to back up. And that's given him the, you know, the confidence and, and the strong position. All the fast movements, all the changes from Skalush have sort of disappeared. Now it's gotten back to some basic, you know, punch and move <laughs> techniques. Bosniak continues to go high, low, change it up a little bit. He's getting more versatile with his game as this match goes on, and I think doing more damage on the stand-up as his opponent fatigues. Skalush winding up. There's a body kick, but it gets caught again, and Bosniak now beginning to to pick apart Skolush and, and utilize Skolush's limited offense now against him, countering the, into takedowns and whatnot. So, slow start for Pozniski by Pozniak, but it may have been part of the plan. I th yeah, I think he was just, you know, finding sort his of way. finding his range, finding his thing, being conservative with his movement. You know, the hardest thing about these fights is you want to go out and just floor it the whole time. Um, but after you get through a couple of them, you realize that, you know, it's hard to control your energies that way. And if your opponent's sitting back and letting you expend or, you know, if you're wasting energies, um, you know, that'll come back to bite you. It didn't look like he wasted any energy. And now he certainly has got some extra gas as they move into the third round, halfway through the third round. Osniak working that inside out kick, all, all, keeps him in range and sets him up for good strong strikes. Also keeps him out of position for power strikes. 
Beats him to the jab. Under two minutes left in the fight. And definitely Skolush fading as Pozniak picking him apart. Now Skolush with the naked takedown secures it on Pozniak. Well needed takedown, like well timed and much needed here late into the rounds. And it looked like he was really wilting on the cage there from the punching. A minute and a half left in the fight. Skolush will try to make as much damage here as he's able to do with less than a minute 10 now remaining in the fight and an opportunity for Skolush to really put a stamp on this contest. Now Skolush has got to do some work here. Felt like he's behind in the game, which means when the numbers get in front of the judges, they're going to be like, hmm, who did more work? So this is the time to do work. The last 50 seconds, when you got your opponent pinned up in the cage, this is the time to unleash the punches, change positions, you know, even go for a hold, uh, but certainly give the appearance and the effort that you're trying to finish and win. Last 30 seconds, all about the stand-up now. And it very much looks like Pozniak and Skolush will require the three judges to render their decision to see who will be victorious in this final Grand Prix featherweight contest. Pozniak looking to improve to three and four while Skolush seeks his second victory in this is third professional contest. Дамы и господа, уважаемые телезрители, единогласным решением судей победу одержал боец синего угла Владислав Поздняк. And a well-deserved victory, I thought. You know, he, like we talked about, he held his position stronger. He was more economical when it came to striking. You know, getting that punch in first, he took a shot there in the back of the head. But when it came to the game of both psychology and striking and maintaining a strong, you know, fighting spirit, I feel like he stayed in the pocket longer. Um, you know, he did more damaging shots when it came to time. He got some strong, advantageous positions. All of them added up, of course, to the judges giving him the knowledge.